And there are other issues where uh, sometimes uh, people, they buy a certain font to kind of try to show a certain status, right? Now, the, the scholars make an exception if the phone, your suit, your car, the way you dress is part of, you know, the business persona, let's call it, that you're trying to, you know, make clients feel that you're a professional, you have a professional business, so you dress well, you have a nice car, and you have a phone that's a PDA that shows you're organized. They say that's not a problem. But sometimes people just try to show off uh, and try to make some kind of uh, a statement using other objects or objects that they, that they own. So you'll find someone who has an iPhone, which is supposedly the coolest phone, right? Yeah? So then the guy has an iPhone, but he just wants to put it out of his pocket and put it on the table uh, for no reason, just to show people, I've got the iPhone, you know? And usually this happens when someone is kind of weak, you know? They, like the people you see in the streets now who play very, very loud music, right? These people, they don't have hearing problems. They're actually doing it for you. They're making it really loud because they want to get attention. And they want people to look at them as they, as they pass by or so people can pay attention to their vehicle. Because they, they don't have anything maybe up here or enough to iman. So they feel nothing is great about them except what they have, what they own, what they possess. And this like, uh, I always give the example. One time we're, we're going to Jum'ah. So we're four brothers, four big grown men. And we're going to Jum'ah prayer. And three of us have our cars parked this way. One of us even had a, a minivan. And there was this fourth, the fourth guy, we were just introduced to him, so we don't know him very well. He insisted we go all the way to the back of the building to take his car to the masjid. You see? So four grown men were walking all the way back to the back of the building. And when we get there, his car is a two-seater Mercedes. And we're four. And then... When we get there, he does, this, uh, he does this fake thing. He's like, oh, it won't fit? What do you think? It's a two-seater. And we're four. What do you think? Three of us will cram into the front seat or something. You didn't notice? You don't have a back seat? But this poor guy, he, he felt that he had to show us who he was by showing us his vehicle. So he brought us all the way to a two-seater just to show us, look, this is my car, so we can look at him differently now. Like we'll respect him more because he had his, his two-seater Mercedes. You joking? I have a Ford Pinto, man. Are you kidding me? So, uh, so, and you know when phones first came out, those people who had cell phones when they first came out, especially in the Muslim land, these were the coolest people on earth. And even though the phones were big and ugly, these people, there were some people who were sick. They would just, every time they saw a human being, they pretended they were on the phone, closing a serious business deal. Yeah, okay, so I'll wire the 30,000 tomorrow, inshallah. Every, and there was, I mean, every time a human being passed by, they did this. Some people were sick like that, but they, the phone said, told people who they were. They didn't have anything else to show for themselves. It had to be their phone. So that's some, some of the things that people do.